Good morning. So we're back. We're alive. We don't have the flu anymore. I feel like a new person. If anyone has had the flu, which I'm sure you guys all have, um, you know, like the day after the flu, it's like the flu hangover where you're just weak and like your body hurts, but you don't feel nauseous or you don't feel sick. You're just like tired. And then the day after you're like, I'm a new person. I feel like I have so much energy. Um, and thank you for all of our new subscribers. We really appreciate it. And we are so glad that you want to hang around and watch our videos and be a part of our family. So thank you. Um, so I last night made a sponge from my sourdough starter. I'll show you. There it is. Um, here's the sponge, actually, if you can see that. Um, so that I could make some bread today. And we have to go to Costco and stuff, so I had to do it this morning. because It's been over 12 hours to let my sponge sit. Um, so I need to do this before we go. So I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing. It's really easy. And when we lived at our house before this, I used to make bread all the time, like every day. Um, and then when we moved here, obviously we had five kids. I just stopped and we just don't eat bread. But you know, sourdough bread's really, really good for your gut. So if you want to know more about that, I can talk about it. Oh, wow. Just ignore that. How disgusting. You guys are probably staring at that now. Um, um, or you can just look it up online. But anyway, so I'm going to make two loaves today. Um, one for us, for Weston and I, and then um, the other loaf I might give to our neighbor um, because we love our neighbors and um, they're so sweet and kind to us and I haven't baked them anything in a while. Like I used to bring them stuff up all the time, but you know, life has happened and they've been through, you know, everything kind of with us with um weston's dad and being there for us and being really supportive and crying with us and laughing with us and you know went to the services so i just really feel like i want to make them something so hopefully they're home because sometimes i make stuff and then they're not home um so then we have to keep it but i am going to do that oh and look at my canies hi look at these crazy hair guys his hair is so long and i do not want to cut it i'm never cutting it oh did you bonk your head Goodness. <gasps> Hi, Ziggy. Hi, Cooks. Are you tired? How cute is he? He's like a little cookie bear. Cookie buns and a candy coo. Oh, yes. You guys want him. Huh? No, okay. I'm going to do the spread really quick so I can get to them. But, anyways, pretty much all you need to add to your. Oh, look at my fancy stuff. Um, <laughs> to your sponge. Um, and I'm really sad I can't use my bread proof setting on here um, since we're going to be leaving. But is you need flour, salt, um, water, and then your sponge. And that's it, you guys. It's so easy. Um, I can do a separate video on it also if you guys are interested. But one more thing because I'm like chatting away right now. I didn't get to wear my Disney. Can you guys see it? Look at my match non-matching socks. My, um... Disney apron that Weston got me because sadly this holiday season I didn't bake or cook anything like special like not even once like this holiday season was such a drag for us and like so blah I just did not feel up for it so I didn't wear my apron at all and I'm so sad so even though it's not Christmas I'm wearing it anyways and I'm gonna wear it all year long because I love it and it'll make me feel better so anyways I'm gonna get started Okay, so here's my sponge. Look how beautiful it looks, okay? So I'm gonna saturate it with one and three quarters cups of water. Look at all the air bubbles it's popping out. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Jeez Louise. Okay, I hope this is normal. Look at how big it's getting. <gasps> is this normal, guys? It's like got so big. Okay, so and then I'm gonna add my salt and flour. All right, I think my bowl is too small, but I added the salt and now my four and a half cups of flour, and now I'm going to knead it for about seven to eight minutes, um, just so it's soft and whatever. So I will show you that. All right, so now I've been kneading my bread for. Um, 
Good job, Mia. For probably five minutes now, so I am going to do this for a few more minutes. If you can see my nice ball of dough right here. And then I'm going to set it again. So we're gonna leave and when I come back, I'll finish it up. All right, so here's my dough ball, and now I'm going, I washed my bowl, and I'm gonna spray it with um, olive oil, my bowl. If you guys don't have one of these Misto things, they're amazing. Fill it with whatever you want, but we keep olive oil in it. So I'm gonna spray it with that. So here's the before, here's the dough ball. We're gonna see if it doubles. Holy smokes, I hope this bowl's big enough. It's actually my mission, <laughs> we go to Costco right now, is I need to find a, um, a bigger glass bowl okay if you guys have any suggestions if i can't find one at costco where to find it then let me know it's raining now great we have to go outside it's costco day finally where's my candy baby Minnie look at his cutest trip. star wars socks ever and mini mouse shoes mickey mouse hi pooh bear and boots <laughs> Hi, American flag boy in boots. Hi, fur coat. Hi, dirty van. <laughs> hey! Don't. I wasn't calling you dirty van. I said the van. Look at behind you. Gosh. <laughs> Hi, new shoes. Um, disgusting story today. Um, I got my boots out, which I haven't worn in a while. And I put them on, and I like moved them from the corner. And there was a giant wolf spider in our house. Yep. And Weston Big tried to, wolf. he tried to make me suck it up with a vacuum and I couldn't. I was almost throwing up. It's so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Weston got it though. And then I made him like I empty the vacuum because heaven forbid that vacuum be in my house with a spider in it. Um, anyways, so we're at Costco now. Do -do -do. And the parking lot is like so empty. So. Here we go. Supposed we need rain. a lot of stuff. Supposed to rain in two hours. Supposed to rain in two hours, so hopefully we're done before that. <laughs> you still want to go to Osh, huh? Yeah. Look at this. Jeez, why do you have so many kids? <laughs> Pooh Bear looks so cute! Little... How... You guys, should we have any more kids? Let us know down below. <laughs> If you're gonna say something mean, then just don't comment though. Goodbye. Okay, Yale's first time in a car. Desperate times called the desperate measures. Freaking out. scaring me, but poor Katie. Hi, Kale. Hey, Kale. Kale, what you doing? Hi. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to so get out. Just keep on moving. Yeah, we gotta keep moving. Bye, Kale. Bye, Kale. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. She doesn't want one. He's wanting the pink one. I'm not getting the pink one. Wait, 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 wait. Look at his hair. It's like so cool. Look at that flip. Isn't that flip you got going on? Uh, Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, Alright, we're to the car. Here's a mini quick, like, pretend grocery haul. That's some new pillows. Some fruits and veggies. Some new water bottles. Razors. Water. A cookie. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Cutie. Um, we got some toilet paper and some. What else? Do we got hangers for my LuLaRoe stuff. What else? What else do we get? Huh? Uh, anything for the cookie baby? Huh? Anything? You're tired, huh? Okay, we are home from Costco and stuff, and guess what? Look at my. My sponge, well it's my dough now. The sponge, look at, you can see it's like touching the top of the wrap. Let me move this and can show you. Whoa. Look at it, it's all the way to the top. Isn't that cool? It's 
so excited. It's nice and bubbly. So I'm gonna move to the second, or not second step, but then like next section, which is to separate it into two portions. Um, you know, obviously flour it so it doesn't stick and then put it in the container that you're gonna bake it in and then let that sit for like 90 minutes-ish. Uh, it's kind of warm in here so it might be a little bit less and then we'll bake it. Woohoo! <laughs> Hi, Beatsy! Are you gonna help? Yeah. Look at your hairdo. Gorge. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Yeah? Are you gonna ride bikes outside? Yeah. Can you ride bikes so we can show everybody your new bike? Yeah. Tell everybody that what you got for Christmas. Wait, Mia, come here. I got a come here. fun bike. Come here, tell us. What? I got a frozen bike for Christmas. <gasps> a frozen bike? Yeah, come here. Wow, who got that for you? Santa. Wow. Oh, wait, you need a helmet on. You need a helmet on, Mia. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all stuck on her cheek. <laughs> See, she has a hair tie on the top. Yeah. Look at her hair. It's getting long like a girl, like yeah. a baby anymore. Whoa. Let's see. Oh, wow. Wow, nice <laughs> trick. Okay, can you go? No, she can't go yet. Why? She's not heavy enough? I don't know, we haven't taught her yet. No. She can't like pedal. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, go. Start pedaling. Push down. Chop, Pooh Bear! Good job, honey. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna be trying two different methods. So I'm gonna cook one in this Dutch oven and then one in this loaf pan, but I'm gonna let it rise in this first. So I'm gonna let these rise for 90 minutes, cover them with this, and then we'll be good to go. Look at these guys vacuuming. Tiny. I have been letting this sit and rise, and look at how beautiful. So this one I'm gonna move to the Dutch oven, which is preheating in here, which you can't see. Let's see, let's turn the light on. Preheating, oh, you still can't see it. It's preheating in the oven, um, so it gets nice and hot. And then this one I'm gonna cook in a loaf pan. Does that look gorgeous? And I think I'm gonna score the top so that it can, um, you know, get bigger, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go put the babies to bed because they are tired. They're just tired. I think everyone's still like kind of recovering from this yucky flu bug. It like really wore us out. It was a nasty bug. I hope we don't get it again. I hope that was our quota for the whole year because no thank you. All right, I just took my loaf out. Look how good it looks. I look good. My other one is still in there in the Dutch oven that you can't see. And I'm waiting for that. And then I have to wait an hour for it to cool and then we're gonna try it out. If any of you guys are interested in a really easy, like non-sourdough, although there might be a sourdough recipe in here, um, for making bread, this is the best book ever. Artisan Bread in Five Minutes a Day um, by Jeff and Zoe. Um, it's amazing, it's like, has tons of really awesome pictures in it. Of course, none of the pictures are showing, but it just really good visuals. And the master recipe in here is like awesome. It's one that I used to use all the time, but look at how good these pictures look. Stuff. Mm, mm, mm. So yeah, pizza dough. It's like the easiest recipes ever. And literally when it says five minutes a day, it really is only five minutes a day. So it's a good book if you guys are interested. All right, here's my like artisan loaf that I cooked in this Dutch oven. Looks pretty good. The tops look different, which is interesting because this one I kept covered for half the baking time. And this one was not covered at all. So 
very interesting. But, yep, yeah, looks yummy. The bottom looks really good. Oh, it's too hot. So Erica just uh, ditched me, and I just realized we didn't end the video yet. So um, thank you guys for watching today's vlog, and uh, please like the video and comment below if you have anything to say. We love comments. So uh, hopefully we will see you guys watching the videos and commenting tomorrow. All right, bye. Hey, Kaney. Hey, Kane. Oh, hi, buddy bear. Hi, Kaney Kane. This is my favorite thing to do with Kane, with his hair. When he gets in front of his face, you just blow on his face. Hey, come here. Let me see. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>